Six months after her accidental and tragic passing, actress Naya Rivera's former LA home came on the market for about $2.7 million. This was the last residence she had lived in with her son since 2018, a classic and elegant colonial home located in the Los Feliz neighborhood. Prior to this, Naya lived in another home in the same area with her ex-husband, which spanned over 4,300 square feet of space, and in this video, we'll take a look at both properties. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. In 2020, actress Naya Rivera would be the victim of a tragic and accidental death, passing away at the young age of 33 while boating with her four-year-old son near Santa Clarita, California. Her son survived, but it was reported that Naya had drowned while saving him. Naya was a former child actor who found fame in 2009, scoring the role of lesbian cheerleader Santana Lopez on the popular series Glee. About six Six months after her tragic death, Naya's last known residence in Los Feliz was sold for over $2.5 million, which was a renovated 1930s traditional style abode. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, back with another exclusive house tour here in Famous Entertainment, this one looking at where the late Naya Rivera once called home. Don't forget to like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't, and follow me over on Instagram to chat. Now let's get into this video. In 2018, it seems that Naya was wanting a fresh start after her divorce from actor Ryan Dorsey, who she married back in 2014 and shared her son with, and she was trying to sell their home. The former couple once lived in this East Coast traditional style abode located in Los Feliz, Los Angeles, and they had purchased it in 2013 for $2.6 million. The recently restored and updated property ended up selling for $3.55 million, one of the reasons likely being because it was presented in perfect condition. It appears the home was staged like a pro in the listing photos, including perfect bookshelves with color-coordinated books and a laundry room with two washers and two dryers, some of which still had the tags on. Well, whatever was done here, it worked because Naya and her ex had scored a hefty profit on the sale of the home. The 4,330 square foot mini mansion was built in 1938 and kept some of the charming original features like the large balconies, high ceilings, plaster moldings, bay windows, and more. Not to mention the stunning staircase in the foyer. The traditional style home was tucked away in the posh hills and had a white clapboard exterior and inside five bedrooms and 3.5 baths over three spacious floors. The entry hall was cozy but still featured soaring ceilings and that grand 1930s staircase leading you upstairs. There was also a step down living room with graphic designed fireplace and iron chandelier overhead, while a nearby library boasted a built in booth style seat set in a bay window. The interior spaces throughout Naya's one time home were a mixture of modern updates alongside vintage architectural details, creating the perfect combination. There was a spacious and sunny dining room set right beside the renovated kitchen, which followed the same fresh white aesthetic. In the kitchen, there were white cabinets with black accents, stylish stainless steel appliances, and a snack bar style dining, while a media room and wine room were added elsewhere in the house. The upper level of Naya's his former family home offered two guest rooms in the master suite, while one of the beds and baths were set up downstairs, ideal for staff or family. The bedrooms had been designed in a neutral color scheme for the most part, with the master retreat being the largest, with its own bright sun-kissed terrace. The ensuite here was also exceptionally fancy, boasting a theme of marble with glass shower, soaking tub, and even a cute chandelier. On the lower level I mentioned before, you'll find that media lounge with projector screen, a games room, and a family room with fireplace, which opened to the wraparound deck. Of course, out in the yard and past the deck, there was a private swimming pool and spa, which were also fixed up in recent years. At the start of 2021, in just about six months after Anaya's tragic passing, her last known residence was put up on the market, selling in less than two weeks. This home had a similar vibe to the last one we just looked at, not to mention it was located near her former marital home, also in Los Feliz, Los Angeles. 
The home Naya shared with her son Josie sold for over $2.6 million and according to records, the actress purchased it back in 2018 for only $1.6 million, just a month before her divorce was finalized. Records show Naya's home was a freshly revamped 1930s traditional home with 2,762 square feet of space throughout, along with four bedrooms and three baths. There were white oak hardwood floors decking out the main living area, which seemed to be a newer addition to the crib, and other features like iron windows. The home was tucked away behind high hedges and greenery, along with some locked gates for good measure, and a top-of-the-line security system, something most celebrities all want. Walking in Naya's one-time residence, there was a classic open-plan entryway with high ceilings and a chic staircase, and a preview of the main level entertaining spaces. The step-down living room kept the original details in the fireplace, but the spaces were modernized with clean lines and an open-air vibe, ideal for today's lifestyle. Aside from that cozy living room, the ground floor of Naya's former home had a sprawling eating kitchen with a minimalistic design and stainless steel appliances that led into a family room boasting massive windows. There was also a library and office on this level that was painted in a dark shade of green and a dramatic, nearly black colored bathroom with floral patterned ceilings. Naya's colonial style home also had a handful of guest bedrooms and bathrooms upstairs while her master suite was even nicer. The spacious retreat was set under a vaulted ceiling and it boasted a walk-in closet and modern bathroom with black and white towels underfoot as well as a glass shower. Another one of the bathrooms was decorated with a bit of a modern farmhouse vibe while also on the second level there was a massive outdoor terrace overlooking the grounds. Out back, Naya's yard was also totally freshened up and redone recently. There was a two-car garage, spacious terrace with a built-in barbecue station, and a romantic dining patio under the trees. Of course, to go with all of these features, there was also a plunge-sized swimming pool. Now that we've checked out the one-time LA homes of the late Naya Rivera, I think that brings this house tour to an end. After looking at the two traditional style homes in Los Feliz she used to live at, which was your favorite? They both had some similarities, so it's hard to choose, but I would pick the first one personally. It felt a little brighter. Be sure to let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to give me a follow on Instagram and tell me which celebrity homes we should take a look at next. I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.